there. Today's card is a beauty with some gorgeous ivy and the new thinking of you sentiment that also has ivy on it too. So we've kind of combined this whole theme in today's video card for you. Now there's a lot going on on this one, so I'm going to walk you through part of it, show you a bit more and explain it all to you. The dyes and products we'll be using include from our new expressions range, the thinking of you dye. There we go. See the pretty ivy at the bottom of that. I'm also using the actual trailing ivy. And the ivy from the Greek Island corner border tag set. The floral element is the fold over diagonal flower. And for the uh, focal element, I'm using the ornate pierce design from the Nobles. And we'll also be using the A4 adhesive sheets to do a little bit of glittering too. Now, I want to show you first off, I've created a background using the ivy from the Greek Island border corner tag. And I've cut four of them and I've done just a little bit of light inking through the dye and glued them onto my background in rows. So I've got two going this way, two going that way. And they're just going to kind of be peeking out from behind. So that's a very, very simple way to create a nice background. It ties in that ivy theme, which is really, really pretty. Um, next up, I'm going to show you um, I've done a little bit of inking with some shabby shutters in here. And one of the things that I think is kind of a nice little trick is um, when you want to die cut something that you want to ink and cover with a double sided adhesive sheet, you kind of need to know where it's going to go. Um, so what I do is I just roughly draw around the die on the outside, leaving whatever it's going to show on the inside open. And that way I know where I do my inking. So I'll just do a tiny bit here and we'll give you an idea. I'm using shabby shutters with one of our smoothies. And so you can just bring it around and just go on the inside of that line all the way around. So you kind of know exactly where that's going to sit when you get everything done. Okay. And I won't even go all the way, but I'll show you. So you go all the way around and then cover it with a self-adhesive sticky sheet. And then you can put your die right over that. And if you hold it up to the light, you'll be able to see your line. So you know you've caught both the uh, ink on the inside, but left it exactly centered where you want to be. So what I have is something that'll look like this. So I've covered this and die cut it. Peel off my backing piece. Now let me bring in a piece of copy paper to put underneath here. And we are going to coat this with some diamond sprinkles. But see, I've left the center kind of white there. So we'll be able to see our focal image really nicely framed there. Put that right back into our package, our container. Set that aside. Okay. So I went ahead and I've cut the outside frame from the ornate pierced design nobles and I've got a bit of mounting foam on the back. So we're going to go ahead and seat that on top, peel our backing off. And a couple more. There we go. Now the other thing is because I've got glitter there, what I want to do is be sure to put some glue on top. There we go. And that will give a really nice adhesion with that glitter. The foam may stick for a while, but eventually it would pop off without the extra added glue to it. Okay. So I'm going to center that right over there. So let me just lean in, see if I can get it nice and even. The nice part is if you're not very even, you can always trim away the excess bit. It won't show. So I'll give that a second to set up. Okay. So I'm going to create some flowers with the new diagonal fold over flower. So let's show you how that's done. Now these have been designed so they'll look beautiful in felt. And I used to hand cut these out of felt. And I thought, that's kind of silly. Let's just do a die that will do all the work for you. I'll pop that on. Now your felt does need to have some sort of wool content to die cut. Uh, a straight acrylic felt will probably not cut very well. But as you can see, this cuts really beautifully. There we go. Pop that back into place. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is take your Cosmic Shimmer Dry as Clear glue 
and just get it started really lightly down one side of your diagonal. There we go. Now, the way I do this is I grab a couple of loose acrylic blocks, and I always start from the middle. And I just fold this over just to get it started and put a little acrylic block, and then I work from side to side. Put this one down. Bring in another acrylic block just to set, set on there for a second. And then this side down. There we go. And I just set those on there for just a few seconds to get them to set up. Um, the thing you have to understand with felt is even though you're using a dry clear glue, if you touch the top of that felt with the glue, it will leave a hard spot, even though it'll be clear. So you want to be very careful when you're doing this not to get it onto the top cut part of that. Okay, so that is nice and glued. So next you want to just put another little bead of glue all the way down and try to keep it below those cut lines. And it's up to you whichever way you want to roll this. I prefer to start from this section here and just get it started in the middle, rolling it. And then if you keep one finger on the bottom and one finger on the top, you can just gently roll that, keeping it nice and level. And you don't need to roll it very tightly. There we go. So easy to make these. And make sure you've got a little bit of glue right on that in spot there to catch. Fold that around and just give it a second. And then you can form this. Isn't that pretty? You have an absolutely beautiful flower every single time that way. I just love the way these come out. Okay, so let's work forward a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put my focal element in the center here. We're going to add a little bit of mounting foam to the back. There we go. Hold that into place nicely. Put that right into the center of our card. And you can see the ivy peeking out from both sides. I'll set that aside for a moment and show you how I've tre uh, treated the ivy now. I've got one I've cut just out of some white card. And I'm going to bring in a bit of uh, working room here. I'm going to do a little bit of inking first some smoothies. We're just going to give them some color. And you can do this any color you like as far as the shading. The one that I did originally was much paler than the one that I've prepped for the video, just to show you the difference. And then you can go through with another shade. I've got uh, Shabby Shutters and Force Moss Distress Ink here. And if you'll notice, they've got the little tip on these uh, smoothies. It's really nice to get into some of these smaller areas here. You can use that tip just to go around the edge of your ivy and just give it a nice little dark edge coming through. Because when you when you see ivy and greenery in real life, it's not all one color, so it's really nice to have different shades of green coming through. I'll just do a little quick job here. There we go. And you could ink that a bit more if you like. Next, what I've done is I've taken a piece of wax paper and I just keep it so it um, I can pick it up that way. And I've gone back to use my um, Cosmic Lacquer. It's a clear lacquer varnish. And I'm just, and I usually will start it off the page there, just to make sure there's no bubbles. And I'm going to coat all the leaves. There we go. So pretty when these dry and turn shiny. Yeah, and do this last little guy here. So you can see how quick and easy that is. Now, um, you'll want to cut several of your ivies at once and do them all and then set them aside to dry. So I'm going to push this out of our way since it's still wet. And I've got some that I've done earlier that are now dry. Depending on where you live and the weather and whatnot, these will probably take a couple hours to dry, but they give you this beautiful shine to it. I just love the way that looks. So I've got a few here. So I'll bring in our base plate and we'll kind of work the focal element or the uh, floral element and then go back to the focal. So uh, I'm going to use a glue dot and start with my tool. 
and that's going to be the um, where I seat my flowers. I've done a couple of the felt flowers ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on first. I'm just going to use a glue dot, pop them into place around that. Oops, let's try that. But with felt, one of the things I definitely recommend is using, once you get it into place where you want it, is using some glue to really secure it. Okay, Here's this one right down here, we'll hide that knot and just pop some dries clear glue underneath that. There we go. And then with your ivy pieces, you can just add a little bit of glue in and around the stems, tuck them under wherever you want them. That's really nice. We'll just do a couple here. And you can trim these if you want them a little shorter. They've been designed in places where it's easy to trim them and you can make little shorter pieces. So we'll do that. Up one right about like that, and I'll use a longer one down on the bottom here. Okay. And then for the focal element, I went ahead and cut several of the Thinking of You that have the ivy, and I've just done it out of white card, and I've used a spray glue to stack them. So what I'm gonna do is add one more to them. Now the top one, while it was still in the dye, I inked it a little bit with forest moss, so I've got that same green coming through. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little spray. And I'm gonna line it up on top. A Couple of reasons why I like doing that is it does give a little bit of dimension. And because the sentiment dyes tend to be very thin and fine, it is difficult to hide mounting foam on them. So you can get that really nice dimension, but it also gives a little bit more stability on your cards too, that that's gonna be stronger. And with all these little fine bits, I think that that's important. Okay, and I'm gonna give the back a little spray. And just to be sure, because I've got some glitter, I'm gonna add a bit more of the Cosmic Shimmer Glue in some of these places on the back. And we will seat that right in the center of our focal element there. Give that a second to really set up. But how pretty is that? I just love the way that looks and I think that's so pretty the way all the ivy all ties in together with a really pretty green. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've got so many more for you to watch on our YouTube channel. And pop by my blog, it's partycraft.blogspot.com. All right, bye.